Hey, welcome back to CPA2 for the part 2 of the full tutorial. Now, I've prepared for you the final product, which is um, these two versions in the GL cell. Okay, we're going to look at object to path, shape tool, duplicates, path union, path exclusion, right, saving, and exporting this final graphic okay so I am going to open the resource files students resource files first and foremost I am going to import BRAF and the guard so file import BRAF BRAF Okay, and import the gut. Okay, you'll find this in your students folder. Okay, now I need to rotate this man. Presumably, he's be rough. Right. Okay. We just gotta resize them so that they be looking pretty much the same. You can of course use the ruler tool to check if the heights are the same. Okay, I'm just gonna throw away the guides. Okay, first I'm gonna create a geo cell by using the rectangle tool. Notice that the transparency is still on. So I'm just going to go set this to 100% for the obesity. Right, make sure your obesity is 100% all the time for your work. I'm just going to get it to grey. Okay, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 bars. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay, so. I'm going to use the shape tool now, but before that, I need to go to path, object to path, double click somewhere in the center, pull this up, and I'm going to duplicate this, highlight, control D, okay, that's a spacing, okay, I'm going to duplicate this, highlight both, duplicate, I have two, Two, 4 times 2 is going to be 8. Zooming out. I'm just going to work outside the paper space for a while. Okay, so I am going to use the align and distribute. Once again, a reminder to use default mode, view default, so you can access align and distribute quickly kind of align them together to the bottom and I'm going to distribute them nicely okay as you can see the distribution is good right now I'm just going to use now at this point I'm going to draw this for you okay and I'm just going to do a clone of this, Control D, a duplicate set, okay just for a backup. Now let's watch what happens after this. I'm going to go use object, sorry, path exclusion, okay it works, okay. So exclusion works with multiple objects and so they can have this effect of the jail cell, right? Okay, so you can actually remove this set over here. Okay, Let's zoom out. I'm gonna put the two persons in the jail cell. Okay.
I'll just stretch this out so you can see their faces. Yeah. So this man, so the far end of the jail. Okay, and we are done, right? Okay, I can see B rough though. I'm gonna put him here over here. Okay, once this is done, I should save my work. In fact, I save from the very start. I'm gonna save this as jail cell. Save. Okay, you gotta save in your workspace. Jail cell. SVG. Okay, index number. Name. Jail cell. Save. SVG file. Yeah. It may look slightly different on your computer, but essentially. It's the same format. Okay, export PNG image. I'm gonna set it to 800. Okay, save it. Export your desktop. Sorry, your workspace once again. And again, zero one. My name. GSL. Okay, it should be a PNG file. This time around, export. 800 with okay, let's take a look okay so we have there we go gsl png and the svg working file All right so there you go okay thanks for watching hope you've understood the concepts for this tutorial the object to path shape tool duplicate path union of exclusion See if it's geo cell and geo cell PNG. Okay. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.